Hey, Critical Analysis, as I mentioned in a previous video, I said I would be uploading a video that just focuses on how to find your scholarly article through the digital library since you still need to complete this for your final project. I know many of you have already done this, uh, but for anyone who needs a reminder or maybe you don't like the video, or the, excuse me, the article you chose, this will kind of walk you through that process. So Sarah in the library mentioned, yes, you can just do a Google search, Stark State Digital Library, uh, but here's just how to get to it from our homepage. So here's the Stark State homepage. I'm going to scroll all the way down to Digital Library. It's going to look a little tiny different here because it's talking about how they are no longer available in person, uh, but we scroll down and we get to where we need to be. Click on database by subject. Now we did some brainstorming about topics in class. Remember your topic is not the same necessarily as your major. They're going to go hand in hand in a lot of cases, but that's not what you're looking for in this list. Let's say, you know, I had someone who in one of my classes wants to go into culinary, but she's looking to open her own business. And so she actually, even though her major is culinary, went into the business database. So it just depends on what your topic is, something to do with your major. Uh, so you'll find it hopefully in the list here. For our purposes today, I'm just going to go into general just to keep it uh, general. Uh, all right. Then on the left-hand side, under research databases, you're going to click on the very first one you see. For most of you, it'll be academic search complete, um, health source complete, business source complete, something along those lines. You'll click on it, and since we are all working from home now, we're not on campus, it will ask you to log in using your Stark State username and password creden credentials. So you'll do that. <clears throat> All right, and hopefully you all cannot hear my children screaming downstairs. Um, so we get to this page, which is the database, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to always click full text to make sure I have full access to the articles that I need. And then I'm only searching for scholarly. We are no longer searching for a popular source at all, so only scholarly. I'm also going to tell it, you know what, I only want the most up-to-date information, so 2020 down to 2016 is all I'm looking for. I also don't want to read anything more than 10 pages. It's not necessarily that anything longer is bad, but for our purposes, we don't need to read a very long article. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if you limited that to five. You just may have a harder time with results that way. So I'm going to say less than 10 pages. All right, so I'm going to go back up, and I go into my search material here, my, my area that I can do my search terms. And let's say I want to talk about middle school social media and its impact, uh, and hit search. All right, gives me six results. That's really limited. So I may just take out that word there and do another search, and it gives me 40. That's a little better. I feel better about that particular search. Um, for some reason, a periodical snuck in there, and it shouldn't have, even though I have scholarly. So pay attention to that. It has to say academic journal for it to be considered scholarly. If you have something that's snuck in there somehow, which happens, periodical is a popular source. So, um, and that might be because it's like a book review or something like that and it snuck in. So pay attention to only things that say academic journal. Those are your scholarly sources. Now, if you get around kind of the result number I get, that's great. If you have like a thousand or more results, way too much. You're going to have to play with your search terms. And then again, if you get like only a couple, like I did the first time, that's way too little. So you have to make sure you play around with these search terms a little bit. Look at the other subject terms they're using, see if those can help you find a better match. So let's say I find one I really like. I'm going to click into it. Here it is. This is not my article. Okay. This is just an abstract. It's just a summary. To find my actual article, and here are things I can also pay attention to, the date and the page number. To find my actual article, I have to go over here on the left-hand side, and it's either going to say PDF full text, or it's going to say full text finder. So I'm going to go to the full text finder. If you have that, it just might take you a couple clicks to get there. That's all. So full text finder. Full text and it's moving pretty slow today. 
here we go. Uh, eventually, there's my full text. There it is. So that's my actual article. And your articles will open up into like a PDF. Now, you might get lucky again, and some of you might just have full text right there. So let's say I find one that I think I like. Remember, you can email it to yourself so that you don't have to print it and you have access to it later. It's, you know, enter your email address right there. And we are APA, so you want to go ahead and make sure you put APA. So that's how you find your article. Now for the revised final project, all you're doing with this is you are in fact finding your scholarly source. And then if you're doing the essay, you're going to kind of write a paragraph, just one paragraph. How are you smarter about your field now than before? Let's just say this article. Uh, it's not a summary of the article. I don't want to read a summary. Uh, no offense, but if you have a 10 page article, technically a summary of that article should be like three pages or so. That's not what I want you to do. I just want you to do kind of a reflection. What do you know now about your field that you learned from this article? Why is this important for you to keep up to date with? Um, how are you smarter about what's going on in your particular field than before? So that's what you're putting into your paper. Now, if you did PowerPoint, it's going to be very similar. You know, paragraph or slide seven. Again, what did you learn? How was it helpful? What did you know now that you did not know before? So it's just a reflection. So really, you're looking at your article, and in a later video, later class, I will talk about some tips on how to get through those articles so it's not as daunting. Okay, so that is your digital library review. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Talk to you later.